What's up, everyone? Welcome to 60 Second Sunday. My name is Dre Manning. Can I get a year? As always, I'm here to bring you a new tip or trick for you to try out in your filmmaking journey. Today, we're going to be talking about music for your productions. I have worked on and produced many different projects, and one thing I realize a lot of people struggle with is finding royalty-free music for their productions. People tend to like have these favorite songs and they have these really ambitious goals of using like the latest Migos record in their production. And when they post it to YouTube, it typically gets flagged, pulled down indefinitely, or they're not able to monetize off of it eventually. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about different websites that you can use to get royalty free music. Some of it is free, some of it requires a paid subscription. Let's head over to my computer. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Let's get it cracking. All right, here we are at my desktop. Let's get straight to it. Let's open up Firefox. And the first thing I have loaded up is Premium Beat. Um, Premium Beat is uh, a curated royalty-free music library. And yes, I did read that right off of the screen where you can find different music based on genre, mu mood, and popularity. Um, I, I haven't really used Premium Beat. And the reason I haven't used it, because in, um, in my opinion, for something like YouTube, it's a bit too costly. There is no subscription service as far as I know. And you're paying the licensing fee. It's about $49 per song. Some of them get a bit higher, depending on the popularity of the song. I'm not going to go through this page for the sake of uh, timing, but I will leave links to the website in the description for you to check out on your own. A more free way of doing things would be going through uh, YouTube's audio library. As long as you have an account on YouTube, you can download content from here for free. Uh, I, I don't like any of it. It sounds really cheesy. Um... Think about like Super Nintendo 8-bit music, which is kind of like cool now, right? But back then it was shit. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Another, another free one that I like, which is kind of, I don't promote theft, but if you type in royalty-free music and let's say upbeat, you'll come across a lot of music producers who post their music to here as well, which would then give you access to like their, you can go through their descriptions and find links to their beat library, which you can then like buy one of their songs for like 99 cents, right? And that's pretty cool. Having that ability to come here, the full catalog, only $19, you can get access to this person's full catalog. Uh, and that's pretty cool. And as for something that I use on a regular, I have a subscription to Epidemic Sounds. I just want to make this perfectly clear. Epidemic Sounds is not giving me any money whatsoever to promote them. I am solely doing this because... I love the quality of the music and the catalog of music that they offer. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here right quick and boom, I'm in. And it's kind of similar to premium beat where you can browse the music and you have your genres, your moods, your movements, your places. I use this uh, website for every single one of my YouTube videos and I absolutely love it. One of the beautiful things about this, if you're someone who's really into um, music production as well as producing videos um, or you just like the ability of really messing around with sorry, or you just like the ability of messing around with the stems of your music this gives you the ability to just download the stems and adjust them in the way that you would like it to be. So that's super, super dope. Gives you the chance to mess around with sound design. <clears throat> the utilization of websites such as Epidemic Sounds, Premium Beats, and YouTube is very valuable. You have an opportunity to find royalty-free music that you can use in your productions. All of the music that I use throughout all of my videos, my YouTube videos, and even my short film contents and my documentary content is from one of these websites where I do pay a monthly subscription and it's worth it. It's completely worth it because I'm able to put my short films out and I don't have to worry about my content being flagged. I'm able to put my YouTube content out and I don't worry about my content being flagged. When you're looking for music, keep that in mind. Where are you planning on hosting this content? Are you putting it on YouTube? Or are you gonna use a service like Vimeo where they don't flag you for using it? Whatever you decide to do, just make sure you do it right. 
make sure it comes out great, and choose music that matches the style and the mood of your production. You don't wanna have a love scene playing out and the background music is Little Yachty, unless you, you know, you ratchet like that, you feel me? You feel me? Facts. My name is Dre Manning, this is 60 Second Sunday. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. None of this matters if you don't get out there and apply it. Just get out there and shoot your shot. But Kilo wanna sit over there playing with toys and shit, and he messing up my outro. Sorry. You open them? Not yet. Are you done yet? All right. All right, you good? Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat>